After we have our dimensions put in our plan, we can begin to mark up our plan. We're going to hold down the middle mouse button, drag over to the fireplace area, and staying on the markup and measure tab in the ribbon, I'm going to go to the callouts. And so what I want to do is select the rectangular callout with the rectangle cloud. I'll select that button and I'll left select and hold and then unselect when I get down to this corner and now I can add a tag I'll left select again and I'll type out move fireplace up five feet and just click anywhere and I have a revision cloud around a certain area that I want to change another example is if I select that same rectangular callout tool and again I'll left select and hold and drag my rectangle down below, around my two openings here and now I can add a tag to make those two openings I'll say make uh, two openings uh, one big opening and so as I'm adding these markups, you can see it gets uh, the system keeps track of these markups over here in the left hand markup tab. If I wanted to get a little bit more complicated, get a little bit more specific, say a certain odd area like this wall right here, instead of using the rectangular callout, I can use the poly cloud. And so what I can then do is just select points around. and just left select until I get close and then add another tag and I'll tell this tag that I want to remove the angled wall and select and so I have another tag that's not necessarily a rectangle it's just any pick point that I choose if I move over to my second floor plan I can uh, be consistent with my floor plan. I'll move this chase up. So I'll just rectangle around this wall and I'll tell it to move up five feet just like I did on my first floor. And maybe I want to flip uh, the door over here so I can again just hold down my left click, select this wall, and I'll say f the flip this door door to be on the other side of the closet. So it's pretty quick and easy to actually put in red lines. The system keeps track of your red lines and it's a nice functional way. If you want to make sure that somebody picks up that this entire DWF is for review under the markup and measure tab there is a stamps and symbols panel and I can pull down this stamps and select this for review and place this for review on our construction document so it makes sure that somebody looking at this plan set knows that this is for review so you can make it different markups different shapes different uh, symbols around your text you can use stamps to put generic stamps in a little bit will uh, use some custom symbols so make sure you save your DWF and we'll move on to the next exercise